Yep, we're going to be explaining a lot. <laughs> okay. Yep, so originally you can make wishes, the stars can grant people wishes, but now they can't now. Uh, oh my god. Okay. Oh, good lord. Uh, yep, we're gonna have to keep uh, moving forward with this one, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what is he- what is Mario doing? Oh my god. Th oh my- What the heck, guys? Huh? A finger shot! <laughs> Alright, well, now we got a finger shot ability that we can add for Gino. Have to, I'll have to find some more armor though. I think one of the best things... <laughs> I just left the door open! <laughs> okay. Oh, the pipe falls. Oh, this leads to Yoshi's Island, or Yoster Island, and as what this game calls it. Okay. Oh, Goomba. Wait a minute! Something about this area doesn't look that long. I, I think this area, I think this battle arena is a little bit odd. The fact that it's like a linear... Yeah, look at this, a linear Brit- Oh! Why, well, man? It's just- I barely survived that. <laughs> like a linear platform, but in the battle arena, it's just really big. Uh. Okay. Let's see. So, um... I should probably mention this ahead of time. Oh, sh Okay. I actually forgot about these piranha plants. <laughs> just, just shoot! Just, just go and open fire! OPEN FIRE THE PIRANHA PLANT! A PUTLANA PLANT! <laughs> okay, so, I should- I, I probably mentioned this earlier, but, um... Like, in some of the earlier episodes. But, um... This let's- so this let's play in particular... This Let's Play in particular is not going to be a traditional Let's Play where I, like, do my intro and outro every, every time the video comes to a closing or when the video starts up or anything like that. Oh, wow. I was surprised to get that. Okay. Anyways. So, um, as I was saying, I decided to do a more traditional Let's Play because... This is, so, basically, everything that you're seeing right now, it's already in one full recording. So, it means I have a lot of editing to do. And believe me, that's not going to be good, it's not going to be a good thing for me. Because editing really, really takes a long time to get used to. Like, learning what to do and all that, and stuff like that. Anyways, oh boy, I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be a fun time for me to uh, edit and all that, so, I'm just preparing for the moment is all, so, uh, the way how I discovered this game was actually from, I, cause, uh, cause I actually liked uh, Gino, Mallow, and all the other custom characters. Oh, shoot. Ew! Oh my god! Oh, yeah. I forgot the. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, I still have a scarecrow thing. Okay. I had no idea any of the piranha plants could do that. <laughs> Just another thunderbolt. Smite these evil plants. Uh, okay. Oh my god. These plants are 
Jesus! Do you know something? I'm pricely get. Oh no! Not this thing. Now Mario's asleep, okay. One health! Oh my god! How. How. How is Gino still alive? One health remaining! Well, at least Mario is awake. Oh, they're gonna turn Mallow into a scarecrow. <laughs> I like how the hat and tunic don't even match Mallow's appearance. That's amazing. Ah, oh, nice! An attack up! Oh, I can still attack with Mallow. Okay. I should probably give the Geno an HP rain. I don't I do not understand the face that Geno is making. <sighs> Anyways. So as I was saying, um I actually enjoy this game a lot. Like, this game in particular, I discovered it when I was uh, looking for some merchandise because I liked all the character designs. And then I saw this picture of um, a keychain set which housed all the five playable characters, as well as the Chancellor, a Shy Guy, and a Piranha Plant. And that was pretty much it. And surprisingly, I found the video. I found a video of this guy, who actually was um, one of the people that appeared on the Genius Book of World Rec Records of like 2013, if I remember correctly. I I think I have the book somewhere. It, I it's probably in a bin some somewhere, but I I do have the book. Oh, oh God, those little. But, what the heck? What was that shy guy? <laughs> was that a camo shy guy or something? I've never seen that before. Okay. Well, um, as I was saying, uh, Genius Book of World Records, um, 2013, the Gamers Edition, it has this guy where he, there's this guy who has, like, a massive collection of, like, really, really rare merchandise. Like, I'm talking, like, Super Mario, Legend of Zelda, Kirby, Pokemon, all that stuff. I actually went, and I think he made his house into like a permanent museum or something. Last time I checked. And oh, okay. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll lose that. Oh, these these little buggers. Oh, Ayo, what the heck? You're telling me that the piranha plants just stay active even if you're on top of the pipes they come out of? Man. <sighs> well, this game is already a little bit more realistic. Burn him up! <laughs> Fried plant calamari. Wait, they're not even water. They're not even water based. Wait, do the piranha plants have feet? Ew! Why do they have feet? Or are the They look like feet. Or are they just are they just other feathers and do they just move forward? If that's if those piranha plants have feet, oh my god, that is disgusting. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Uh staying on topic. I'm not sure where that guy is now, but there's like a huge video, he was like showing the complete, uh, plush collection of- Well, not complete plush collection of Mario RPG stuff, but just some of the plushes he has, like Mario, then one of the stars, there's a Boshi and a Yoshi plush. And if you notice how some of the Yoshi designs look really odd in this well, that's because for this game in particular, the Yoshis look different compared to Yoshi, to what Yoshi looks like nowadays because the Yoshi, the design of the Yoshis in this game is based on the appearance of the Yoshi, of the Yoshi from Super Mario World or Super Mario Brothers 4 in Japan. And uh, I'll just 
Yeah, we'll heal Gino. <sighs> yeah, if you do... One thing you must remember is that if you do not have armor for your characters, the damage they take is like a, like a huge amount of damage. Like seriously, it real it can really yeah it can screw them up. Ugh. Oh, I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Oh my god. But still, I'm not. Sh I wonder how that guy is doing now because he has like huge collections of many other merchandise, from like the '80s to the '90s or mid to late '80s, I should say. Because um, actually, when did Nintendo start making games? It's actually kind of hard for me to remember that. Yes, save. Oh. Thank goodness. I did not want to go through that again. Well, because of this, we can now travel back to the world so we don't have to go through that section again. Hey, Yoshis. Oh, yeah. We also have Boshi here. Uh <laughs> what was that sound effect? Okay, that's weird. Oh... You have to bring cookies. Yeah, oh. Oh, this mission. Oh, I, I hate this mission so much. I don't know. Okay, so we go here to get the cookies. Alright. We got cookies, so, um. Hang on, let me pause for a second real quick. I need to check something. Okay. Let's get this over with, shall we? Oh, I, re I remember how difficult this was. Five, six, seven, eight, and go, 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 go. Okay. Shoot. Uh, come on. Uh. Oh, Jesus. Uh, come on. Uh, yes! Oh, man. Yes, okay. Oh. Yay. <laughs> Sorry if you heard something in the background, it's, um, just, just someone in here just cleaning up a couple things. Alright. Okay. Oh, nice! Alright, now let's just continue on. <laughs> Alright, since we already made the Yoster Island, we could just uh, continue on here. Sorry if you guys hear um, the background. Uh, if there's any noise in the background. I don't think these, uh, I don't think this mic can pick up the background noise, but, um, alright, let's get some of these. But, uh, me and my, me and a couple of others, we just, uh, moved a couch out of here, so, because we're getting a big couch. Because, um, we were just cleaning a couple of r rotten junk, like, pieces of junk that we don't really need anymore, so. Alright, let's see. Gotta sell a couple of these items. Wait, what 
Yoshi's cook. I actually forgot what the Yoshi's cook what the Yoshi cookies do. Alright. Let's buy some of this so we can raise our flower points back. Alright. Yeah, so out of all the games that I played, this one was actually one of my personal favorites for the longest time. This game was was always my favorite because of how unique and obscure everything was in the game. Like, not, not saying that it's a bad thing, but still. It's just something that I really like in this game. It's very unique compared to a traditional Mario game. And thinking about it, I think this is like the fourth or fifth game in the series. Because this is, um... If I remember correctly, the first one I played was New Super Mario Bros. DS. Next was... I think the next one was Super Mario 64 DS. After that, it was... I'm trying to remember. Super Mario Sunshine, because that's when I got the GameCube. And then after that, it was... Would I really count um, Mario Kart? Well, it, it technically is a Mario game, so I guess I could count that. Oh, looks like Bowser's lost some of his troops. But yeah, overall, for being the fifth Mario game I ever played, and being the tenth game I played, like the fifth Mario related game I played, and this is like my tenth game I played overall. Oh. Looks like we have some trouble ahead. I'll be dang Goombas. Oh. Oh yeah, since I didn't talk to anyone, I just went dove straight into the mines without um and, uh, ah, talking to any of the other people outside. Oh, these guys are giving us a boost. Nice. Oh, shh. Oh, these enemies. I remember that these guys caused me so much trouble because I didn't know. Playing this on both, um... Okay. Playing both this as a second playthrough, as well as uh, playing it on the Wii for being my first playthrough. I'm actually more prepared for what the enemies are like. Not only that, but... I decided to do an emulator because I didn't... I, I, I already have like an HDMI adapter for the Wii, but I just didn't set it up yet because... I wanted to wait till, um... I got the new couch in. I probably never mentioned this before, but my couch is, um, it, no, not my couch, my office is in the basement, so, and I have, like, a huge TV, well, two of them, because, um, the, the right TV I use for gaming casually, and then the left one, we watch movies and all that. Oh, nice, level seven. Uh... Let's amp up our HP. 
The thing about me, though, is that when I first played this, I was, like, really wanting to increase my attack. That's, like, the main thing. Yep. Alright. As soon as we continue on here, we should be able to finish everything. 